Hey Balliol, Maritime Camera Club. Uh, this is my evaluation of a Zytec Smooth Q. Been using a Smooth Q for a couple weeks now. Um, I'm an event shooter and I'm basically looking at it to see if it's going to help me shoot events and uh, supply a bit of moving video to the stills kind of work I already do. And that's really where I'm coming from. I've used it uh, for a couple events already and vacation video. To my mind, this worked out really good. I uh, haven't been disappointed with it. Uh, recently, I've added a Rode Micro uh, microphone to it. Uh, what's impressed me most is just the smoothness of the video. It just flows. It looks pro. The, can, uh, the crane shots you can do with it are outstanding. Um, panning's really smooth. It adds another level to the video that you just couldn't do with with just a cell phone. It's hard to believe it's coming from just a cell phone actually. It's uh, it's really amazing when you when you actually look at the video. Problems I have with the Smooth Q, and this is really what I was mostly interested in to, to evaluate this type of product. As an event shooter, I need I generally have two cameras over my shoulders and I'm moving and running and gunning and what have you. Um, the Smooth Q is going to be difficult to integrate with stills and video. You really you can't put a smooth cue with an external microphone on your hip and uh, a body over your other shoulder. You have to be able to put the smooth cue down. It's it's not going to hang. So in a way, that's going to be a problem. In a, in the other side, it probably will ca cause you to focus more on the video that you're doing, and then then do the uh, establishing shots with the video. More details probably with the stills. I'm still working that out. Smooth Q itself, mechanically, I've had really no issues. Uh, it's provided great, great, great video. A few bugs here today. Um, great, great, great video. Uh, very smooth. When I show it to people, the smoothness is what is. It's they're really amazed by it. It's really, it's really amazing. When I'm telling them it's a $200 gimbal, they're just like, wow, no one can believe that. So. We've been, I've been happy with it from that perspective. Uh, a couple small things with the Smooth Q. Um, their app doesn't add a lot of functionality, and some of the things it's doing, it's doing wrong. One of the big things that caused me some grief is, is the uh, battery level indication uh, for the Smooth Q. It's way off. Uh, it caused me to be on a shoot with a limp gimbal. You don't want a limp gimbal on a shoot, let me tell you. So once you know that, you don't trust that, and you just keep it charged. Uh, I contacted Zytac and they're telling me that there will be an update uh, to the app. They're aware of the problem. So I think that's not too bad. Um, I did find with uh, external Rode microphone attached, yes the audio is better. The camera's not, the gimbal isn't as, as smooth because the cable connected and may be throwing off the balance. Uh, we'll have you, I'm using an L bracket uh, with the um, Rode mic connected to that. And I'll find a little bit of drag on the side of the camera when I'm panning and stuff. Uh, not quite as smooth as without the mic connected. And the horizon is sometimes off. Generally, my horizon is perfectly square. I got no problem with that uh, with, with the cue. So I guess you got to take the good with the bad. Uh, that being said, if you're just shooting video, you're not going to need audio. I just dis disconnect the mic cable. It's not a problem. Bugs are getting bad this morning. Uh, so let's shoot a little more video and see how it goes. Let's zoom a bit with the cue. There we are, we're zooming. I'll zoom back out. I have some friends this morning. I'm going to change the mode and uh, 
just uh, reposition the following function. There's a family of ducks out for their morning uh, swim. Review of the uh, Zytac Smooth Q. Um, since I've had the device for probably two weeks, I've added uh, an external microphone, Rode Micro, it's called. I've added an L bracket and the Rode, uh, I think it's called SC7 cable. Uh, you need an SC7 cable. There's a black end here and a gray end here uh, to connect to smartphone. You use the stock cable that comes with the microphone to connect to a DSLR. Uh, I've had good success with it on a DSLR and I've had good success with it on a smartphone. Uh, so it's really, it's a great product. Uh, audio quality is good, pretty much must buy. Uh, the uh, L bracket is going to be useful just for my DSLR use anyway. So I really had no problem picking that up for so for just over $100. I think you can add a lot of audio capability and generally speaking, good video has good audio. So um, that's something to keep in mind. Other than that, it's been a great device. Uh, I'd recommend it to anybody looking at an entry level gimbal. You got a, if you've got a decent cell phone in your pocket, you'll get some good video of this, there's no question. Um, the app does give you the integration with the joystick and the zoom button and the record button on the, um, on the hand of the, the um, gimbal. So yeah, uh, for 200 bucks, pretty much a must buy if you have any interest in this at all and it's your first gimbal. Uh, the only thing I would uh, think about as well, they have a new version, I believe it's called Smooth 3, uh, which some features you may or may not be interested in. I know there's longer battery life. Um, there's a few things. So it just depends on your price point and how price sensitive you are. It may make sense to go that route. Not sure. For me, this is still a great buy. Um, I could see keeping this a good long time. With most tech like this, in a year or two, it's going to be a bigger, better, stronger, cheaper, whatever. And I'll move that way in, in a year or two. But for right now, uh, this adds a nice little aspect to an event I'm shooting or a concert I'm going to or vacation video. I think it's a must buy. It's